Good evening. On behalf of the League of Women Voters of South San Mateo County, I welcome the candidates and all of you in the audience and all of you at home to this free public forum to meet the candidates for the Sequoia Union High School District. I'm Jamie Shepard. I'm president of the League of Women Voters of South San Mateo County and your moderator this evening. Also here is Debbie Mayo, who is our very able candidates forum coordinator, as well as members of our local league. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan national volunteer organization of women and men, and our education mission is to encourage your active and informed participation in your government. We have no, we never endorse candidates nor political parties. Our sole interest is in helping you, the voters, gain fair and unbiased information in order to make an informed decision on election day, which is November 3rd. In addition to this forum, I encourage you to use the California State League's website, smartvoter.org, where you can find up-to-date candidate information and your ballot based on your address. This event is being videotaped this evening and will be replayed on local public access television. And we thank the Media Center for its commitment to our voter education. We all confirm that cell phones are off and now we're ready to go. There are two seats to be elected to the school district. Each has a four year term. And there are eight candidates running for this position. In alphabetical order, they are, and if you'll raise your hand when we call your name, Noema Fernandez, Bob Ferrando, Jacqueline Wallace Green, Beth Ingesulian, Virginia Chang Karali, Alan Sarver, Chris Thompson, and Noria Zaslo is not with us this evening. Please give them a round of applause. We commend you candidates for your willingness to partake of this, pro this process and for your willingness to serve our communities. We're lucky to have so many candidates willing to be involved in our children's education, are we not? Here's how our forum will work this evening. The candidates have drawn numbers at random, based on which indicates their seating order. Each candidate will have a two-minute opening statement, and up to the course of the next hour, questions will be taken from the audience, written on a card. Where are our card? Where's our card, people? Terrific. Please write your question on this three by five card. Please write clearly. It is for the school board. Write clearly. No questions can be asked of specific candidates. Your question will be asked of everyone, and we will try to consolidate them according to topic. Each candidate will have one minute to respond, and Ellen Hope, our timekeeper from the League of Women Voters, will be keeping time for us and will hold up the signs for us to keep your time, so candidates. And uh, then after we have all of our, go through our questions in about an hour, about 8.30 or so, each candidate will have a two minute closing statement. Any questions so far? Terrific. By first order, our first order of business are the individual candidate statements. We thank you all for being here. And Mr. Ferrando, by luck of the draw, will go first. Thank you. Uh, my name is Bob Ferrando, and I'm here tonight to ask for your vote on November 3rd. I entered this campaign as a district resident that felt a change on the board was necessary. I felt it for three reasons. One, a concern that the position would be filled by someone who just was happy with the status quo. A desire, secondly, a desire to better identify the $100 million that's spent annually on the students. And third, to ensure students in the district have an educational choice to meet their specific needs. My background has been in the private sector, from local small companies to large international companies, and my roles have varied from auditor to controller CFO. I approach this trustee's role from two perspectives. One, as a business person, I understand the need for best practices 
and to hold people accountable in order to succeed. Two, from a district parent's perspective, I experience and understand the need for a variety of educational approaches. The challenges in front of the district are large, but not insurmountable. Financial information must be identified by school and district office to determine best utilization of taxpayer money. Thank you, Mr. Ferranda. It goes by fast. <laughs> Noema Fernandez is our next candidate. Two minutes. Thank you, and good evening. Um, oh, I have to remember to press a magic button. Um, I am interested in uh, serving the community, as all of us are on this panel. And the reason that I chose to run for this particular uh, position on the board of the Sequoia District is that I have had a long career as an educator and as a university administrator, and uh, I am very passionate about a quality public education for every single student. Uh, in the course of uh, my administrative uh, duties at uh, the University of California, I was very involved in helping to build a pipeline of quality from the high school to the university level. Uh, the budget oversight is also a great concern uh, for me, and, and I know that there's alternative ways in which we can foster uh, new ways of finding funds to help our students succeed. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Thompson. Thank you. My name is Chris Thompson, and I believe that all of us at the table here and everyone in the room shares an abiding commitment to public education. We know, as Pat Gemma has said, there is no greater calling than providing our youth with high quality education. I've chosen to enter this crazy eight-way race for two primary reasons. First is a recognition that this district has amazing teachers, amazing principals, great programs that parents across the district are concerned may be at risk because of the looming budget crisis. Second is the realization that in some areas, this district faces substantial challenges. Those of central concern to me are the rates of attrition that are too high and the number of students preparing for college that are too few. The, the unique set of skills that I bring to the challenge is primarily based upon my lifetime in education. I'll name just two factors because I guess I have to stop. Watching <laughs> for five years. Where are we? You're up. I will tell you later about my five years in the president's office. <laughs> Thank you. Alan Sarver is next. Sequoia Dis District does an excellent job of educating one of the most diverse populations anywhere. Facing tremendous challenges of decreasing funding, the district has continued to innovate and offer diverse offerings, raise test scores, and close the achievement gap while modernizing facilities and maintaining solid reserves. The greatest challenge to our district is to continue on this upward path as education funding takes a disastrous turn for the worse. The Board of Trustees must decide where to cut, maintain, and grow programs, maximizing value for taxpayers while providing the best ed educational opportunities. Board must engage all stakeholders to improve achievement, open alternative pathways to success, and prepare schools and students for the 21st century, while trimming judiciously and seeking revenue alternatives. I taught in public schools, had a long career as a software project manager, retiring from Oracle in 2002. Since then, I've been a volunteer for our schools. I served on the Measure J Bond Committee, Measure G Parcel Tax in Belmont, I'm chair of the Carmon Academic Foundation. And we'll hear much more about that in just a few minutes. <laughs> Our next opening statement is by Beth in Jesuian. Hello, I am here today as a learner, as a fellow parent, and mostly as a lifelong educator. Uh, I also am concerned about the budget situation and how we spend a great sum of money on the education of our young people. But Probably more important to me is the care with which we approach our children and their future and the way that they nourish our community. I am running because I believe that I have extremely 
broad and deep experience in high schools as a, as a child of a superintendent of schools and the granddaughter of a superintendent of schools and a fifth generation educator, I, I think I am very skilled at looking at priorities and making sure that we are respectful and inclusive and transparent about what we do, that we use technology to make everything work better and bring all of us into the 21st century, but mostly to put students at the center of everything that we do. Virginia Chang Corrale is next. Good evening, my name is Virginia Chang Corrale. I am honored and pleased to be here tonight and I thank the League of Women Voters for hosting this forum. I believe it is our obligation as parents and a community to focus on the responsibilities of a school board trustee. For me, there are three very basic things. Provide quality education for all students, take care of our finances, and add value to the community. Guiding the Sequoia District through these challenging times will require a balance between creative solutions, fiscal responsibility, and community partnerships. I would be honored to offer my combined experience in business and financial analysis, leading school and organizations, and developing public policy. As a member of the district's Career Technical Education Steering Committee, I believe in the importance of partnerships and business nonprofits to help educate our students in a hands-on way. As a commissioner for the California Economic Development Commission, I understand the importance of developing sound public policy and programs to provide opportunities for students in our changing economy. As a former PTA president and board Thank member, we'll I look forward to representing you. And last for the opening statement, Jacqueline Wallace Green. Good evening. Um, first, I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for bringing all the Sequoia High School District candidates together for this forum and the Sequoia um, School District for hosting it tonight. My name is Jacqueline Wallace Green, also known as Jackie. I've been a resident of East Palo Alto um, for over 35 years. I've been married for 20 years and have four children. My son attended Woodside High School, and my daughter went to Middle Atherton High School, High School as well. I too am a graduate of Sequoia um, Union High School District, class of um, 83 Woodside. I've been employed by Stanford University for over 20 years. Currently, I am a development associate at the Graduate School of Business. I am currently a board member of the San Mateo County Committee on Organization. I have been a board member of East Palo Alto um, Ramaswood City School District from 2000 to 2008, and during which those times I served as clerk and as president. Thank you very much. 